both. And then now you got contacted by a uh, what was it? Some a guy who I uh, knew who was you know doing a favor for uh, a, a uh, one of the you know the cop one of, a cop named uh, Nick Ryder. He wanted you to extract someone from the uh, from the uh, what's it called um, containment zone. Oh, okay. He tell you the name. Let me check. Okay, yeah, Lone Star Officer. Yeah, that's what he works for. Uh. <clears throat> Okay, yeah. so the things you know is the target of the human female who goes with the name Samantha. Uh, she's sinless and homeless. And you know she was last seen around the, roaming the streets in the Maker Collective, which is like a mini district of uh, different people that that manufacture things. Yeah, they sell a lot of making their own gear there and stuff that people can buy. And this is a, a place that we're looking into. Yeah, to find someone. I'll show you where it is on map. If you can, you still see the um markers at all? Uh, like the, we uh, see the circles. I can see the the player marker. Do you see like stuff like if I show, you press here? Do yeah, you see I. That? Oh, you ping it. Yeah. That symbol, I mean. Should be a park bench and a tree. Can you not see that? No. Oh, okay, yeah. maybe because I moved you guys to because I moved the computer. I think you might have to. Yeah. So go into a uh, journal notes and then press the toggle uh, the notes display. You mm -hmm. might have to reload for this after you toggle it. I don't have journal notes. I have quick journal. rule reference and combat rules. Yep, that's what I have as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, that's what you're looking at. Top there. I mean, uh, it's in like, the left sidebar. Um, Should be, like, oh, little, that uh, one. Yeah, with a little blue. Or oh, okay, or and the little park bench came back. Okay, yep, when I, yep, I, I see it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, cool. Okay, you can see everything now? Okay, mm -hmm. so yeah, this is your, okay, so up here is your way of your location, but you have to go. That's the location we have to go to, right? Yeah, no, that's where we're currently at. The the no, you're you're out of the out of the containment zone right now. This is where you're going. Oh, okay. So yeah, there. Is, there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, the Makers Collective. It's on the edge of the uh, containment zone. Inside of it, still though. So yeah. Uh. I guess at this point, who would actually be driving the car? Um, probably Greg's character. Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. Pilot, vehicle, Groundcraft 3. I think Groundcrafts include cars, don't they, doesn't that? Yeah. I swear, didn't someone take, like, um, aircraft as well, or something. Um, that might have been Zendo. I did. I did do. Originally, I had. Um... Or I remember someone else was going to take it, and they didn't end up taking it. No, I think. Oh yes, I took um pilot groundcraft. I think that's driving. Yeah. Yes. 
I'm not proficient in it though. It's not one of my my yeah. expertise type type skills. Well, nobody's yeah, gonna uh, be super proficient. But yeah, uh, what was it? What are you a plus three? Happy yeah. Holidays. All. Okay. Nah, it's, it's way past holidays now. <laughs> it's not. The holidays were only yesterday. <laughs> yeah, we got the Valentine's right around the corner. Wait, when is Valentine's again? I can't even remember. February 14th. That's still a while away. We've got a whole month and more to get to that, okay? Yep, yep. So, yeah, uh... What contact did you contact? You said you was your police contact. Uh... Yeah, it was the Lone Star police contact. Yeah. Uh, his I'm name good. is. Uh, I look up his name. His name is, is Seamus McKelkenny. Yeah, I think it's in your. Uh... Did I put his name on there? No, you just put yeah. their job. Oh, can you spell their name so I can just put it in there real quick? Okay. Um... Uh, okay, did you give me all their names? I can't remember if you sent those those names to me. I thought I did. Uh, you might uh, have. Uh, I just let me check. I might have just forgotten. Okay, you did. Yeah, I just haven't put them in. Because I, I remember also sending you pictures for them too. Yeah, I got the pictures. I just forgot this. I think I have them tokenized, but I haven't put those pictures in the game yet. I think I was going to put the images on the uh, social thing tab here at some point. Oh, okay. Let me just put his name in. Greg, how do you pronounce your character's name? Hainik. Hainik? Hainik. K-A-N-C-I-C, Kainik. Yep. Okay. Uh, did you steal that truck car thing that we're using? No. You own it outright? Okay. No. I'm pretty sure only you stole something, Nance. I don't know what you're talking about, DM. <laughs> yeah, we're, I think we're you're using... the only one to steal something so far. <laughs> we're using somebody else's car. Um, do we want to change the vehicle signature? We don't need to, unless we're stealing something. I mean, wow. do you really want me to go and look up a new freaking image for a car when we could just be flying? No, you don't. You don't change the image of it. You uh, just change the signature of it so that if anybody was trying to find us because they know that we drive a specific vehicle. Oh, your this... signature. That's right. You have a spell. <laughs> yeah, for that. I, I forgot about that. I mean, what car, what are you driving right now again? Because I forget what vehicle. Because let me just no, let me check vehicles. I thought we had a bunch of scooters. I didn't think we had like. Uh, you have a Chrysler, Nissan, Jackrabbit, a Dodge Scoot, and a uh, Yamaha Growler. But I'm pretty sure the isn't the Dodge Scoot the, the vehicle you don't want anyone to see you on. I can't. Isn't that yours, Nans? I don't know what you're talking about. I no, know. that's mine. I left all of my vehicles at the place, and I jumped in. On another vehicle with Zendos yeah. when we got out of there. That's right. Yeah, you didn't have one. You said I had to. I had to be nice with the GM and let you do one easily. <laughs> I forget who owned the Chrysler then. Oh, is that the Jackrabbit? Leonard Zendo. Oh yes, yeah, it's yeah. The okay, Jackrabbit Jack is mine. Yeah, Annalise. Yeah. <laughs> so we're we're gonna pile in the Jackrabbit to go because it's a four seater. Yeah, you should be able to fit in there. It's a four seater. Yeah, let me check. So oh, you you can drive vehicles as well. I we... no, I actually didn't put any points in that. I have a vehicle, but I can't actually drive it. Oh, wait, nice. this thing says. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. This says two seats. Apparently, the Jack Rabbit only has two seats at the front. Well, that's fine. Greg can take his Growler then, or his scooter. What which one do you have, Greg? Do you have the scooter? I have a Dodge Scoot, okay? <laughs> Listen, that's better than what I have. I don't have anything. Listen, at least I don't have to worry about somebody stealing my shit. I love the description for this. This is an electric-powered scooter with a top speed of Don't Make Me Laugh. It's compact, full of fiction, and super affordable. But no self-respecting Shadowrunner would be caught dead on one. 
Uh, mm. I love the line of top speed, don't make me laugh. Mm-hmm. That's my favorite line. And let me just drag uh, your character on. Uh, which one was your character again? What was, how do you pronounce your character's name again? Me, Koenig. Koenig, yeah, I just dragged Koenig as the driver. So we know that's his. Mm. And, um, yeah, if Koenig is driving his own car, do you mind if I drive, Anna? Yeah, you can drive mine. That's fine. Oh, well, we'll put each other inside of it. Mm-hmm. Proceeds to crash into her car into a pole. What are you talking about? I've got skills in driving, yo. <laughs> but what about the stat to do with the driving skills? Anyway, Look, uh... all I know is I put points into piloting a ground craft, okay? Just... We might have to get a little fanciful because, like, if we get caught doing anything and we need to make a quick getaway, I'll be casting spells first. <laughs> Wait, can you? Can anyone? Act, can you detect auras, um, Nance, at all? I don't believe so. Because oh, so I put, pick... I put him in. Spell, um, where did I put it? Um, binding and banishing is where I put most of my points. Yeah, if you, I and think that might be more. a spell that requires a. a Simple assessing plus intuition test. Oh, and counterspelling. Is assessing like a skill? Uh, it's yes. Yeah, it's a skill. Yeah, she has nothing in that. Yeah, she. I'm pretty sure you can use it to track people. <laughs> it is not something that can be defaulted, though. What's that, man? That's oh, that means you can't roll for it if you don't have any dice in it. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. Uh, no, I I specialized in um, counterspelling, summoning, binding, and first aid and medicines. Sorry, I'm just trying to find the information that uh that the part in the document that talks about one of the characters. Okay, I found mm. it. I will need that later. I put four points into our first aid. Oh, yeah? We did. Yeah, sorry, you want to be the first aid character. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that reminds me, we need to buy some uh, first aid kits. Well, you might be able to buy some gear at the Makers Collective, because you can buy at least, I think, TS, up to tier six or whatever, availability six. <clears throat> so I'm going to just move the car into the containment zone right now. Because that's where you guys are. Okay, so you get through the, you know, the gates, no problem. We're not going to go through that again. Basically, once you get in the snow, no, you notice that there's no snow falling anymore. But the roads still look pretty treacherous because of all, you know, the snow is already there. Uh, this, but obviously the wind still blows um, in ways that most other cities would still call a blizzard. So yeah. Oh, you know the funny thing is now is that because this game's taking place in January, and now it's January actually. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, as you make your way to the Makers Collective, you see it, and uh, it's mainly uh, it's not much. It's like a it's a mall, and it looks like a small city in and of itself. It looks like a network of strip malls and office buildings connected in a few places by canvas tunnels. Almost like a giant hamster cage. Uh, if if specifically, if any of you guys had augment reality, you would know that this place is thick with augment reality spam. Uh, so basically, as you approach, you hear the sounds of workshops and hardware manufacturing. Uh, through even though through the howling wind, and obviously you you start, you smell a lot of smells as well on the wind. From you know production smells and stuff like that. The place is pretty large, so you know it's going to require a bit of legwork to go and find who you're looking for. But you could just you know decide to shop instead while you're here. Um, we could shop first and then go. Yeah, find, definitely. Find the thing. I mean, if you guys are up for that, I don't have a lot of money. That 
those last couple of um sorry, union because that's what they are here. Um with those last couple of jobs didn't really yield out a lot of money. Oh yeah. Monies. Uh where's your actual money number? Uh, New Union's going to be on the miscellaneous tab. Oh, yeah, sorry. She has 10,900. I mean, 10,900 could buy you some basic gear, extra gear. Let me boot her. The, uh... So if you guys are going to buy anything, I'm also going to I'm gonna pull up the uh, normal PDF. Um... Core book. I think I should have at least one or two health kits. On me, on me, or is it just one health kit that gets done ten times, like D and D? I think they have a certain amount of uses, yeah. Yeah, limited have, uses. You can use them a number of times. I think. Oh, you don't have any med kits, Nance. Remember, you were dirt poor and couldn't buy any. Well, that's why we're shopping. Okay, I thought you said you had some. <laughs> I know, I know, Zendo had some. Let me check how much the cost. What are they called again? Med kits or whatever. Yes. Uh, yeah, med kits. They are powers combined. We are Captain Planet. <laughs> and if I remember, uh, page four hundred and fifty. Remember correctly, Annalise, you—you're the hacker person, right? Yeah, she is. I'm one of the hacker type people that can hack from their own brain instead oh. of needing a device to do it. Okay. okay, with the med with the med kit you it's um it's right it costs rating times two fifty yen. So neat new yen. So, you know, you can buy a certain rating off it. Up to a rating three if it's in your pocket. Oh, so wait, the bigger ones uh how do they fit? So wait, where does it say that? Oh yeah, lower fit yep. in a pocket. Rating four is a rating four plus in a handheld case. Restocked every yeah. The med kit needs to be restocked after every rating uses. So yeah, it's basically depending on the higher rating, the more uh, uses you get out of it before having to restock it. So I I like to play caution to the wind when it comes to our health. So I would like to have a higher setting one. So how much would one of the level threes be? Uh, three, so that would be... I mean, 750. Huh? 750 million. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. I, are, we, are we allowed to haggle in this game? Is haggling a thing? Yes, if you have yeah. the correct speech skills. You have the correct skills? Because I don't have that skill. Wait, no, isn't it, isn't it 750 million? That's or... what he said. Yep. Oh, he did? Okay, thank God. I wanted to make sure. 750. Oh, do you have the negotiate skill? Yes, I do. Oh, ooh. I'm gonna... Oh, how is your skill against my skill? Oh, yes. Ooh. Well, your, yours is probably much better than mine. Rolly! Oh, I should have I fucking preloaded this. I'm an idiot. It's okay. uh, actually, I only have two ranks in negotiation, and it's not as high as I was thinking it was. Oh, how well, high? what's your charisma? Oh, my charisma is a uh, six. Okay, you get, you're much better than I am. Oh, oh nice. Oh, I thought we were going to have a little rollies off between the two of you. That would have been great. So you, wait, uh, that's grand. So I'm going to slide like 550 gold to you. Kind of like not sneakily because I have no sneaking skills whatsoever. And then, like, hey, try to see if we can get it down to that much. If not, I have more, but let's go for that much. Okay. I would also like to purchase a level three med kit and what? maybe a, a trauma patch. Uh, well. <laughs> You can roll your negotiation if you really want to. If you want to get lower prices. 
Annalise, that's on you. Uh, so uh, that's going to be uh, that's charisma no get negotiation. Uh, yeah, no, you call it negotiation. Yeah, you press the negotiation button. They should be on your sheet. Oh, okay. You just hit that. Oh, I see. Okay, that works differently than I was thinking. Yeah. And then it uh, automatically does it. Okay. Yeah, you just haven't played in a while. Uh, you got two hits. Is it good or bad? I don't you didn't know get any, well, you didn't get any glitches, you know, so... I say that's good. So what is this item? Is this for Nance's Ned kit? Yeah. Um, I say... guess it'd be both of ours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it would be, like, all the things that we're buying right I now. I was going to get one, too. So, you know, it could be the, the three of ours all together. So each one of us have one has one. How much are those trauma pats, patches? 500. I'll say you um, get... If each item you're buying, I'll say you get 15 million off. Fifty-five zero. Okay. Okay. So I don't she didn't roll that high anyway, but I. No, that w it wasn't that high of a roll. Twelve hundred. All right. So, so you need how much from me? Because I want to be fair. I want to make sure that you get the. I think you need seven hundred. You need to take seven. All right. So I'll give you another it. hundred and fifty then. Take seven hundred off my character sheet. So anyone buy anything, just make sure you take 50 of whatever the price you're buying. And it can only go up to rating 6. I mean, availability 6, sorry. Good job. Yep. I would have had to pay full price for that. So, with the trauma patches, where are those in the book? On the very next page. If placed on a dying patient, it allows her to make an immediate stabilization check. Using body instead of first aid or medicine. It's the person or the person applying it? The person being it's being applied to. Okay, that makes sense why you'd want to do that then, yeah. Forget, do I have a trauma patch in the um, item yes. area? I was looking that up. A slap patch, trauma patch. I'm just going to copy and paste the description in here from the book. Is they're multiplying. Hey, that is Apparently, weird. if it's wireless, it does automatically does it. Yes, and we don't have a wireless one because I think a wireless one is the, the one the next level up. Is it for for what for less trauma patches, not med kits? Oh, sorry, I thought you were talking med kits. Uh, what trauma patch is no? Yeah, it's no. I mean, isn't like apparent? I remember reading that everything is wireless. I thought that's the thing, unless you like purposely want it not to be. The other way around. Everything is non-wireless unless you purposely modify it to be wireless. I thought it was the other way around. The way I said it. Um, it it's your game, so we can go by what you say. I'm just saying because I remember I'm looking at it in the book somewhere. Like I still got to figure out why it's how that like is dictated. All right. It's not really clear on why how what why this is meant to be. Greg, what page are you looking at for the first aid stuff? Uh, uh, Four hundred fifty. Thank you. How many patches did you buy, uh, Greg? Just one patch. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Sorry, it's not page 450. Thank you. What page is it? Uh, I was just on it. Yeah, page 450. Sorry. Yeah, I need to get more lights in my room. Is oh, can, you a... can you guys yeah. see the map now? We can. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, just did, but I just made a basic map today. That's fine. 
if you if you ever guys do return to it, it'll mostly be an update map. Uh, great, great. Here it is. Um, you, did you put it in yourself, or do you want to just drag it in? Because I can drag it in. Oh, if you can drag it in, please do, because I ha- I don't want to have to type everything out. This one will have an icon on it. There it is. One trauma patch. Okay, what about a make it? Apparently, you can get a built-in med kit. Apparently, that's if you want to put it in. I believe that's like one that you cannot carry. I remember when we yeah. were playing before, there was one that I could carry with me, and then there was one that like we had augmented to the car that we had, and I could use that like uh basically turn the back of the vehicle into an ambulance. Oh yeah, this one specifically says cyber limbo enhancement. So maybe you can do that as well with Cyberlands and, uh, you know. Yeah, maybe later. Yeah. Uh, I don't know that's something we can do right now. Well, obviously, I am just noticed it as a thing while I was looking at the thing. So this police contact of yours, you trust him? Yeah, uh, he's been giving me information uh, when I was working at uh, for the corporation. Uh, he was, uh, you know, uh, giving me information when I needed to do uh, uh, information for uh, press releases. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, he works as a staffing officer, so he uh, he's the person who places uh, people uh, at different uh, scenes and stuff, uh, so he knows uh, what things are going around. Okay, good, good. Let me just drag this med kit into your inventory. Yep. And let me, how many med kits you buy? Just one? Yeah. Three? Yeah, I just bought one. Uh, we three. all bought one. Maybe. One for each of uh, us. Yeah, yeah I know, but I'm just putting writing free in there. Because they start off at writing six, so when I drag it, I'm just going to change it. Uh, yeah, you, all brought, you said you all brought one, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they should be pretty obvious in your inventory, and you'll see a big plus. Okay, that's done. Is there anything else you want, or you just wanted to get medical supplies? No, we just wanted to get those, those patch, those um, medical gear, and then that was it. The med kit. Oh yeah, okay. So yeah, Absolutely. now you guys are free to explore, or to, I mean, talk to people. Is like an information role you can do or something. I believe if they have the ability to do so, yeah. I am not the talker of the group, y'all. Mm mm. No, no. So who made the talker again? Uh, Annalise is the talker. Yeah, I'm the talker. Oh, that's right, yeah. I'm happy to uh, talk to whoever uh, you, you guys would like me to talk to. Um, let's talk to anybody who would have an idea of, of... of what's going on, of what we're supposed to be looking into. The building that we should be going to, where the like he's being housed. You mean she? Is uh, her name Samantha? Isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah. So uh, 
Anyways, I will say you do get a call now on your uh, com link. Hey. Mm hmm And you to all of our com links, or? Okay. I mean, I think it would be just yours, because it's, oh, yeah, okay. it's, it's, uh, what was his name? Oh, it's Seamus's, you know, that uh, called. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Should we hang out here? Oh, you're doing it in your head. Never mind. Yeah, yeah I'm doing it <laughs> in my head. <laughs> yeah, she. So, yeah, uh. But yeah, he says, uh, oh, yeah, I was talking to some of the, uh, you know, others in the uh, station. And, uh, I got some uh, information that you were looking. I'm not sure if it would help or anyway, but, uh. Any little bit can lead us yeah. to uh, the next stage of, you know, question asking and stuff. So that's always helpful. Uh, what did you find out? Of, well, a lot of the others don't really like him here because he's kind of a, you know, kind of self-righteous and all that. And uh, I think uh, he's about a half step away from being, getting fired. And uh <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's like I was saying. He's they, they think he's everyone thinks he's a bit self righteous, and they think that gets in the way of his uh good police work. You know, and uh, but people do say he's an honest. He's pretty honest, you know. But uh, he's really into the uh, drink, though. He drinks a little too much for his own good. But you know, that, I guess that, that's is, what that is a problem. You know, admittingly, uh, I imagine over the years I've probably added to that problem by giving him bottles of stuff and everything to thank him. <laughs> but uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's all. That's all the information I really have on him. He does good work though. But uh, he's been really. He's kind of he's been. I think well for a while. I've been really obsessed with a with a missing person case that uh. That went cold. I think it was his first case ever. But yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's like all the information I have for you. All oh, right. thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. This one's uh, you know, because we're long time friends. This is on the house. Oh, okay. And uh, you know, just let me know when uh, you want me to uh, you know, uh, pay you back in any way. Oh, that'd be appreciated. So yeah, he, then he uh, hangs up. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying that one's on the house. Like the last next ones, he might try to get you to pay for if, any information <laughs> later on. Wow, cheap steak. So what's up? Well, I mean, what's... I mean, a lot of your contacts, if you have contacts, will normally expect payment. Mm -hmm. I don't know about all that. I mean, how? I mean. They, they may just, owe they, me a favor, and you know. I mean, yeah, if you have a favor over them, you know, then yeah, I can see that. You have to do something for them to owe you a favor. So that's what you know about the um cop that that you're hired to do this mission for. Oh, okay. So this uh, that's uh, he was talking. Uh, you weren't telling me about Seamus. You were telling me about uh, the. Oh yeah, uh, he forgot. Yeah, because you yeah. asked who that guy was. Yeah, um, Ryder. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I was, okay. wasn't sure if there was anything lost in translation there. Oh. Oh okay. uh, yeah. He's the that guy. Makes that more think, sense, then. Yeah, there was a guy that the guy that contacted you with the job is doing a favor for to Nick. Oh, okay. That's right. Yeah. That's uh, why I you just... said what you said what you said when I was talking about. It. Okay. Yeah. I, <laughs> I was a bit confused, yeah. Yeah, he was talking about Nick. He wasn't talking about himself. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so um so you... I share this information with Nick off to the side quietly you mean, to uh you mean with you... the rest of the group, not Nick. Yes. Nick <laughs> yeah. isn't with you. Yeah. Not <laughs> not to Nick. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, uh, uh oh, yeah, so can... uh, 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 
guys, I uh, found out uh, that uh, the uh, guy that is you know, uh, connecting with us in regards to this missing person uh, uh, person, he's uh, you know, on you know going to be uh, possibly be fired soon. Uh, and he's a uh, you know a, 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 you know an alcoholic. I did mention that thing about the cold case as well, though. That's Tom. Oh yeah, it, and it? he has a cold case with missing person. You know, uh, too. Uh, yes. You know that he's obsessed about. Well, that sounds like a him problem. So, so he's about to get fired. Does that mean we should like? Go up and deal with the situation now. I mean, he's not about to get fired. I mean, as in, like, he's not about to get fired. It's more like, you know, he could, you know, he's kind of on like a rocky, you know, what's it called, like a uh, thin ice kind of thing. Okay. It's mainly just that the other cops don't like him because of well, his we... self righteous attitude. Well, we yes. can't fix yeah. that. And you gotta remember, like most cops in the Lone Star are corrupt. You gotta remember that. <laughs> That's why I was asking if she's sure she trusted that guy. Look, he just staffs him. He doesn't. I mean, he might be a bit corrupt, but it's not like. I mean, you think he's a bit corrupt giving you information like that willy nilly, but you know. If it benefits me. <laughs> anyway, uh. So, I guess you guys want to ask around, what skill would that be? Oh, you see, while you're in here, you do notice, like, obviously people trying to peddle their wares and stuff like that. You know, you see, like, uh, multiple people, like, just working on things they're building and stuff like that. So, if you guys want to, do, you know, talk to anyone, you could, you know, I would assume any, like, the uh, vendors and stuff would be the ones that, to talk to. You know? Yes. Vendors. They have it. They're the underground ear. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, if you're looking for anyone, then yeah, you don't want to talk to people that have been here all the time. Okay. Um, and do we know anything else about Samantha? You know, uh, you know like a last name or a description? Uh, I think you got a description. Uh, let me pull that back up. Uh, here it is. Uh, let's see. Okay, uh, let me just, so yeah, oh, uh, you know that she has, uh, let me check what her hair color is real quick. She has like a, like dark black hair, if you know that. She's young, uh, she's homeless and she's sinless. Okay. And she was seen recently around here. You know her name as well. She's human as well, just so you know. Okay. We have things against people who aren't human? I don't know, do you? I don't know. That's what I'm asking. <laughs> like, I wasn't aware that that was a thing that we had to worry about. He was seen running around with an armored jacket. When she was last Okay. Seen. Okay. Uh yeah, and um, is there uh, it, uh, does it look like the, out of the vendors that there is uh, one that's a seasoned vendor that's been around for a while? Uh, that they um, might uh, look a little bit older, and uh, you know they have a longer line, so they're well known and stuff. Uh. There you see someone, uh, let's see. Okay, what did I say they pedal here? Okay. 
So you you just see um basically someone you see like an older like obviously you said older person uh he's basically basically uh you know talking to the crowd trying to get people to come into his store to buy what he's selling which is uh you know was it be like you just programs and stuff he's like looks like a uh programmer oh okay so you see him just you know obviously doing like the usual sales pitch and stuff like that that's the one that catches your eye obviously uh i i go up hmm? you go up to him so yeah he sees your approach and he goes hey are you here to buy uh one of my my uh, programs? Oh, you hit us. Well, you just walk. Um, uh, I will look at the program. Shopping. I have a quick question for you first. Uh, you, sure. Shoot away. Um, so there's uh, this girl with long uh, black hair and wearing an armored coat that uh, has gone missing. I was wondering if you might have seen her around uh, the, the market. He asks, uh, "Do you have? Do you, does she have a name?" Samantha. Uh, he starts. He sits there, starts thinking for a bit, and he goes, "Now that you mention it, I uh, do think I've seen someone around that. Uh, I think hanging out around the. Uh, let's see. Let me check. Uh, Yeah, around the. Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, it's around the drug refinery, uh, that is uh around here across, uh, like one of the workshops, either drug refinery workshop. Oh, okay. Uh, that that's helpful information, uh, too. And I go ahead and look at his program of what what it is. Uh, it's you know, a, to see yeah. if he specifically says uh. It's this, what was it? Uh, yeah, it's like a large workshop, which, yeah, which, isn't it close to the one? It's another building close to this that's like connected by the um, canvas tunnels to it. I'm pretty sure you oh. don't need programs from what I remember. No, I don't. <laughs> but I was trying to be nice and look at the program just as you know. Well, you see, like all the general like um, programs that you would, yet you know that a uh, what's it? What they called? Uh, I forget what are the freaking hack? Those hackers called again? The normal ones? I forget what. Riggers. Rig yeah, riggers. You see programs that riggers would use for drones and all that stuff, <laughs> and you know other such things. Some things that don't look really legal, but uh, you know, who's going to really, you know, get this guy when he when they're working out of you know, the in the containment zone. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll ha I'll have to come back for this because I have to. I don't uh, remember what uh, uh, model uh, you know uh, my uh, <laughs> dry this. He goes, uh, okay, well, see you, hope to see you again. Okay. And uh, he kind of just gets back to business, you know, trying to get okay. people from the crowd. Uh, you know, and then I'm going to, uh, you know, uh, uh, find the other two and l let them know that uh, she was last seen by the drug processing center. Refinery, yeah. Oh, refinery, I'm sorry. By the refinery, is that normal for her? Who are you asking this to? Her, to Annalise. Um, I haven't actually been in the containment uh, zone before, so I don't know if it's common to, you know, uh, if it's just more so accepted to be around the, uh, the drug refining place. Hmm. He yeah, didn't no. say it with any sort of disgust nor anything like that of like, oh, not th those low lives or anything like that. No, they're not so, like, act they're not like, you know, I mean, they mostly make illegal drugs, but I mean, they make there's like <laughs> medical things as well they make. I would right, oh, okay. but listen, so sometimes stupid stuff happens, right? So that's all I'm looking for. Like, would she be out there normally doing her thing? 
Or is it like, you know, it's starting to feel sketchy? That's all I'm asking. I think he mainly said, like, to um, Annalise, that's where she was seen around at one point, yeah. He re- the guy said he remembers seeing someone like that. How? Around that area. All right, so should we go he up would there? Add this too that um, he would add. You could, he would, he would recommend talking to the people that run the refinery. They might know something more. I guess we're going off to the refinery then, huh? Yep, I think the refinery is the place to go. Yep. Really? Yeah, the refinery. Off the refinery. No, there really wasn't for you. All right. So, Are we yeah, driving? Uh, Are we driving? I mean, it's not that far distance. It's like, like I said, like, uh, it's close to the co- Maker's Collective. You can mostly just go outside and walk a bit and reach it. So, yeah. Uh, obviously, as well, like I said, there's a lot of canvas tunnels that connect to different buildings and stuff like that. So one of the canvas mostly connects to the, uh, you know, drug refinery. You follow the tunnels. So yeah, I assume you guys just follow the canvas tunnels into like one of the other buildings that lead to like the drug refinery. Yeah, that. So, you, so you finally get there. You see like workers there, just you know, working on, well, you know, drugs and stuff. <laughs> yeah, what do you what do you expect to see in there? But you see workers, that's all you really see right now. Because there looks like to be someone in charge. I, uh, yeah, you see someone in like looks to be in charge, like, you know, uh, just walking around, you know, super checking on what everyone's doing. Okay. Um, you know, any objections to me going and trying to talk to that person and I point uh, to the person that's in charge? No, go for it. Okay. Do you want uh, us like, I... with you or do you want us hanging back here? Um, what do you feel more comfortable with? I mean, I do the magic at these and, and I kind of don't want... We're trying to get them to do something they don't normally do, so let's not feel like we're going to pressure them. Okay. But I also don't want you to feel like you're doing it alone, like, because, you know, we got you, Jack. Okay. You've got my back, so, uh, yeah. yeah. (laughs) Uh, So I go in and I, uh, you know, uh, try to get the attention of the person that's in charge. Uh, Excuse me, could I disturb you just for a moment? Yeah, he uh, turn. You see this like um, tall man turn around, and he goes, "What can I do for you?" Um, I was told that a girl with black long hair uh, in an armor jacket named uh, you know Samantha has been hanging around, and I was wondering if you'd uh, seen her or not. He goes, "Uh, I may have, but uh, why are you looking for her?" Um, she hasn't been seen by her uh, friends and family, so uh, we were just checking up on her. Ooh. Do you have um, any? Um, what's, do you have anything like um, a skill for? Uh, I guess lying. Oh, bluff. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, bluff uh, or whatever. Kind of... Yeah, or deceit, whatever you have. Uh... Deception. I was going to say, are you bluffing? Are you telling him something? <laughs> She's telling him fibs. <laughs> She's uh, fibbing. Is there, which, what would it be? Would it be bluff? Do you have bluff? Or whatever kind of skill? Uh, my, my computer was acting up. Uh, so, let's see here. There is not bluff on here. It's um, there... Do you have persuasion, maybe? There... If, if I, you're I, lying, I, it's yeah. con. Con? Oh, it's do con? You have... Okay. And let me, uh, I'll see if I have con. You know, uh, once Foundry's done reloading. <laughs> Don't think you have con. 
Yeah, it's zero on your um, character sheet. Oh, okay. So I'm pretty sure you're going to roll with a straight six charisma. Okay. So you just click on your charisma and roll it. Okay. And I'll determine if it works or not. Depending on how good you roll. If you roll like complete horrible where you get like what one I'll say at least I want at least like two successes. Ooh, boy, you can do it. Least. Although I don't know how she can do two successes if she's only rolling one die. She's rolling six. Because I said she can roll a charisma. Okay. You can do it. When it's just that she doesn't get the same thing. If she had con, she would have been able to roll charisma plus whatever con was. Sure. But I decided to max out my hacking skills. <laughs> it's so... I mean, it's not a bad thing to do that. Boundary is really giving me problems. It's not coming back up. It took a little while to load this page when we came into it for me. Oops. That's hilarious. I do have points in the con, but her charisma is higher than my charisma plus my con. Wow. Oh, I'm sorry. uh, You actually made that a priority. (laughs) No, I did not make that a priority. I'll start with with a charisma of two. My character was not supposed to be the talker. He just picked up talking skills because we didn't have a talker. Yeah, were you yeah. able to see that? Were you able to see that roll? I yep. saw it. Uh, you got. To, wait. Why did you roll? Oh, wait, no, you rolled it. That was negotiation. Twenty-two minutes. Okay, you got two hits. Let's just make sure you didn't get any mm-hmm. horrible glitches. Come on, let me see the result. Yeah. Okay, you only got one one. One one, but the, I think for it to be a glitch, you need at least like over half of the yeah. right ones. I don't think anyone's got like a glitch yet. I'm really lucky. So no, yeah, uh, lucky so far. <laughs> like Maybe. he doesn't one hundred percent believe you, but he believes you enough. I guess you know he kind of like looks at you, you know, and goes. Mm-hmm. And then I guess he, he, you see that it, his head's turning a bit to see whether or not he will believe you or not. <laughs> and truth, he goes, <laughs> he, he somewhat, he goes, I guess he goes, fine. He will, he says, you look trustworthy enough. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he tells you, uh, that, uh, She said that, uh, he said that, uh, yeah, she's been working here, uh, every now and then. When was the last time she came in for a shift? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I feel like it was, uh, was it yesterday? Oh, okay. Is she scheduled to come in again? Uh, she kind of just shows up whenever she needs the money. 
Oh, okay. Um, I do know that she has a place around here, though. It's like in some old office building or whatever. Okay. Do you know what street the office building is on? uh, It's on the outskirts of the collective. There should be a a, a canvas tunnel connecting to it somewhere. Okay. Um, Would you possibly be able to... Uh, if, if I give you my contact information, you can uh, let me know when she comes in for our next shift. He says sure, but uh, he also says that he is quite busy. So oh, he best. does he does take your contact information down though. I uh, I, I, when I uh, hand over the contact information, I also uh, hand over the cred stick a program to give a uh, fifty cred, uh, fifty new in. Wait, wait! How many cred sticks do you have? I have one cred stick. But but but, wait, wait! You saying you're giving his cred stick fifty new in? Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting his cred stick uh, fifty new in. Okay, he has a cred stick. He takes the fifty. And then he kind of just walks off and continues back on his, like, you know. He's going to be all indignant about it. He doesn't have to take it at all. He can just leave. Look, <laughs> if you want to offer someone freaking 50, like, even though it's fuck all, you're going to offer them any money. I think they're going to take it. Yeah, but you can be an a-hole about it. <laughs> well, I can tell you really didn't like him. I don't like him. He's sketchy. Well, I mean, you're sketchy, too. Yeah, I'm supposed to be. <laughs> Maybe not and be so he works sketchy. for a drug refinery. He's he works for a drug refinery. I'm supposed to trust him. Look, they're not all illegal drugs, okay? You can get any drug here up to quality six that isn't fucking, uh, what's it called? Uh, I think they don't, they, you can't get deep weed here, okay? <laughs> but that doesn't mean they don't sell other drugs. So, mm-hmm. just because they don't sell the weed doesn't mean they don't sell other stuff that is illegal. They don't like it. Up to quality six. They sell legit drugs, too. Right, so, you know, he should be more accommodating and feel like I trust him a little bit more, but I don't. She doesn't, he couldn't, he doesn't really trust you. are just random people he just mm-hmm. met. Well, yeah, it doesn't matter. I bet if I t- if I bet if I made up a whole like his how his whole story about his friends and stuff and family, you have to still go. I don't like him. Well, no, because if you know, we build a backstory around him, I would listen to the backstory. Well, you got to remember, like a lot of people, like you guys would I assume know that uh, the a lot of people in the Maker Collective is made up of um, you know, sci- like-minded scientists and students of like the former Northwestern University that used to be in the containment zone. So, yeah, they're all like independent people. They don't like work for any corporations. So you don't have to worry about any corpos, you know that in here. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's the people you should mainly be worrying about. I'll take your advice on that. Mm-hmm. Not some random drug dealer on the street. Listen, I mean, you, can be, you can worry about it if you want. If you think he's going to backstab you. We don't know what he's going to tell. He was all sketchy about her asking questions in the first place. And then he got all indignant when she was like, I'm going to be all nice and give you 50 gold or union. And most people are hurting for money at the moment. So, like, I don't know what his problem is. Of course, I'm also not up there. I'm back here. <laughs> Shooting the breeze with Canic. When okay. when I get up to you guys, I you say he said that she has a place uh, out on the outskirts of the containment zone uh, in an old uh, office building. Okay, on the, outs- on the outskirts of the Mega Collective, it said. And on the a Mega Collective, okay. Then let's Mesa. head that way, I guess. Yep, okay, and see if we can possibly spot her. Hmm? We can see if we you know, spot her out and about or something. Uh, let me just load I don't know time. if we want to start knocking on doors. But... No, I, mean, I don't. You know, you know where the office building is. He would have... 
I'll just I, I think doing a recon around to see if she's out and about, and then checking out on the building would be a good idea. Well, I mean, she's not at the refinery right now, so. Right, but we're we're in a hey. city area of where she could be living, right? So wait, wait, wait. What's this in the corner? Wait, what? Why is there a random actor token in this corner up here? I didn't put that there. Mm hmm. It's your map. Dude. And even yeah, then, it says this token represents an actor which no longer exists within the world, which I never made. I'm just gonna delete <laughs> that. Okay, that was weird. Anyway, uh. And since she uh, is simless, she wouldn't have an online presence, right? Or is there a way for her to get on uh, without a sim? Don't you mean like? I mean, yeah, she's if she's sinless, and yeah, she. I mean, she wouldn't have a presence anywhere if she doesn't have a sin. Oh, okay. For some reason, I keep uh, switching it to sim, like sim card, and which doesn't yeah, make any sense. Card. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me just jam a sim card into your neck. I'm trying to to make a a phone call with her head <laughs> by jamming a sim card into it. I mean, Zendo's character does have a sim card in his head. If you think about it, because you're like comlink jammed in there somewhere. Yeah. It really went. Hey, j slam a, a comlink into my head. Uh, yeah. Well, he wouldn't pay the doctor to augment that for him. Just wait, I'm adding in a new scene. I forgot to put the map in. So, are you guys going to the office building, or are you just going to, like, walk around for a bit? I, I think we were finding the office building and then uh, walking, or, uh, you know, seeing if she's walking around anywhere in the neighborhood. Yeah. I mean, I'll say this, like, it's only accessible by the, um, what was it, those canvas tunnels, because it's connected to the um, Maker Collective. So, yeah, it's mostly not going to be anywhere, you're not going to see the outside unless, like, you decide to go out for the main exit entrance and then go for a way around the thing to the actual building itself to see the outside because you're not going to be enter be able to enter it because of the canvas tunnel. You know? Unless you just decide to rip the canvas tunnel open. <laughs> Don't think many people will like. I guess we could just go to the building, and then can we like look around the building? What do you mean, like in, around inside of it, or no, like the perimeter of the building? I mean, yeah, I guess you could. Yeah, this would be windows for you guys to look into. Well, we don't want to look in the building. I want to look out around the outside. If people are standing around outside the building. I mean, like is I that said, not a thing? Like I said, there is tunnels that do go that the canvas tunnel. I would assume there is like a tunnel canvas tunnel that does go outside that connects to the building as well. Yeah, because so I'm assuming like around the, instead of going in right inside, you could look around the um, you know, outside of the building. Well, I would assume that they don't like smoke inside the building so they would have to oh, go yeah. outside the building to smoke right so like yeah. is there a smokers area around i mean if you go out there you know you'll see i guess you'll see a couple people lighting up you know a sig hey you know or... hey annalise yes 
Do you see the, the smokers over there? True. We could ask if they've seen her or mm-hmm, not. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think that's a good idea. Or at least know who she is and like where she would be if she were here. Mm-hmm. True. Let's go. Okay, let's smokers. go over. I don't know why. I trust smokers more than I trust drug dealers. <laughs> well, you might be cranky if you like a drug a um smoker might be cranky if you um interrupt his smoke break. We didn't you really interrupt. interrupt. Interrupt I mean, would mean you... yeah, interrupt I mean, would be you... like you, you can no longer smoke while you're talking to me. That's not what well, we're it doing. It is his smoko break. It, right, but like we're not stopping him from smoking. <laughs> he can continue to uh... smoke and talk. But I mean, if he's going to be a butthead about it, that's fine. He can do that too. Well, you don't know that, do you? you haven't no, I don't. Because I probably would only be there to sit, back her up while she's talking to him. What, once we get over there, uh, you know, I join the group of smokers and uh, ask, uh, can I bum one from anyone? Uh, I. Uh, it, it's it. It's been a while since I've had one. Wait, are you talking to the smokers? Yes, I'm talking to the smokers. Sorry, <laughs> I no, thought I we were there something. already. I'm sorry. Sorry, I was reading something. I was just trying to find a date on something. No, it doesn't matter. He uh. There he goes. He says, well, I don't want to really give them away for free. They kind of my cigarettes. That's bullshit. My husband was a smoker, and you can go up to any smoker and get a free cigarette from anyone. You know how it, freaking it, smokers you know how dear cigarettes are right now? <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> this is me saying it's out of character. You know how dear cigarettes are nowadays? <laughs> now imagine this game takes place like how many yeah. years in the future, and I assume they're even more true. expensive. That is true. That That is very Listen. fair. <laughs> hey, hey. Here. Give, give, him, give him another 50 union, and I'll cover it. Okay. Uh, I, I'm like, you know, I'll, I'll pay you f- uh, for the, uh, the cigarette. Well, well, if you're paying, I don't mind then. And uh, I guess he just gets it. You transfer it between sticks. Yeah. Bread sticks. And yeah, he hands you it. And he goes. And just. And like, I, I don't have a lighter on me. Can you light it? Ooh. Do I have to do everything around here? So he gets out yes. his lighter. Yeah. For <laughs> 50 Noonien, yes. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> he gets out his lighter and, uh, you know, lights it. And then, you know. Now you have a uh, cigarette. So, so how's uh, your day then? And I, uh, I, I try to make it look like I actually, you know, have. Uh, uh, Annalise hasn't smoked, uh, you know, since she was in, uh, you know, her teens. So, uh, you know, it's been a while. <laughs> so, so are you uh, well, how's my day been? <laughs> you know, so, what? How's my day been? Uh, you know, doing the usual work. Uh. No, I was having my break. It was great until uh, someone showed up just recently. Who was that? Maybe I'll go kick their butt for you. He just... Do you say that to him? I do! I do! He just, I have just, no charisma he whatsoever. Just, he just stonewalls you and looks looks at you like stone art and stonewalls <laughs> and, just, and just staring and going. Just looks at you for a couple of seconds and then he just goes, make that too. Where? Did I do something wrong? I don't know what's going on. This guy seems to be like a butthead. Maybe he needs more cigarettes. <laughs> you say that out loud. No, I'm whispering it to, to Anna. <laughs> <laughs> he squints at you. I'll just say that. Oh, you say yeah. He just continues smoking. If, if you don't, if he, if you don't talk to him, he's not going to say anything to you. Oh, okay. Uh, you know as. 
I uh, could you help help me with something that I'm in the neighborhood for? Because uh, fine, <laughs> hurry it up. I, I only got a certain amount of time. My break left. Okay, Th- there's a girl that's supposed to live around here. That she has black hair. She uh, wears an uh, armored jacket, uh, and her name is Samantha. Uh, and I'm um you know, just uh, ch- checking on her because she hasn't showed up to her job in uh, you know a few days. I don't know no girl named Samantha, but that description sounds from, like someone who lives in the building. Cool. Oh, okay, that, that's useful information. What's your boss's name? It's none of your business. I was just going to give you a good review, but I guess I won't do that now. He squints at you even harder because he knows. <laughs> I want try bluffing that. I want to see you bluff that. I was actually gonna go find his boss and give him a thing, but I don't know. Okay, I don't know how I bluff this. So what do I roll? I thought okay, out of character. I thought you were saying that in like a bullshit term. No, no, no. I was being sincere because you know he gave us the information, even though he was being an asshole. I was still gonna be the nice person and go give him a good review to his boss. He says, yeah, no. So it's like, he goes, is that all? Or do you need something else? No, uh, no. And I'll go finish the cigarette and you put it out and, uh, you know, uh, go off, uh, you know, uh, with is uh, Nance is your uh, ca- uh, character named Lilibet? Yeah, she is. With that cigarette, oh, okay. do you put that out? Do you put that in like the bin or something? Uh, I no. uh, take you it know, with you. The side of the building, you know, I'm assuming it's uh, like stone or brick. I put it out against the stone of the building, and then uh, you know, filled strip it uh, by pushing out uh, the remaining tobacco, and then toss it. She's a smart oh, lady. Like, just in the ground. Uh, in the t- trash can. Usually, there's okay. a trash can around, the, or uh, uh, or one of the places with sand in it uh, for the cigarettes and stuff. Yeah, you see a cigarette up in. Yeah. Okay, I was I was gonna wonder if you didn't like if you just threw it on the ground, he would have said something. Mm, 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 mm. He has oh, no yeah. room to talk. Anyways, if you go Excuse inside me. the building now, mm. yeah, we probably should before I get us into more trouble. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just load reload the scene to you guys. Just tell me when that bar is full. Did you guys see a bar appear at the top of your screen? Yep. Yep. It says 100%. Okay. What about yeah. the others? Uh, both of mine say 100%, but it hasn't changed screen yet. Mm-hmm. I am Lilibet, yes. Yes, I am. It should be changed to annoying little shit. Well, she is because her charisma is a one. <laughs> so <Yeah. She's laughs> she could talk those... to people, just not well. She's one of those like she book smart, but not street smart. Uh, yeah, yeah. Logic and wisdom is a three, uh, is a five and a six. So yeah. There's your tokens. I won't put any NPCs down to like you know you look around. Um. Uh. So you get inside. Uh. I think there's a description for this place somewhere. What's it smell like in here? Uh. Like homeless people. Yeah. Okay. Do they need help? Homeless people. Uh you don't know. Mean what? What do you mean they do they need help? I'm like what kind of I'm, like like are they sick and need help or are they just here because they don't have a job? I mean they have jaws but they look like they're just squatting.
So hey, do you guys start exploring the different building? I mean, room? Um, yeah, probably. I think um, I would kind of follow uh, Anna's lead. Mostly because she's the talker. And if we run into anybody, I don't think that I'd be able to talk my way out of any situation. I'd so you want to stay together, you know, uh, going through? Yeah. I, I think so. Yeah, let's all stay together. So you can move your tokens around if you want. Um, let's go okay. this way first. Yeah, let's go to the left. And you said these were like office buildings and stuff, right? Yeah, all the ones around the side are office buildings. Are there anybody in those office buildings right now? Well, you see, you know, they're lightly furnished. Some of them are, you know, some obviously, like some of them are shut right now. Others of them are like, we can see from the windows because obviously they have, they used to be office buildings. Like some people, you know, you know, none of them look like the person you're looking for. Hmm. Yeah. Hold on. I'm going to stick my head into this room right below us. Uh, which one? Oh, that one. Yep. Um, hey, is Sam in here? Huh? No, no Sam in here. Thanks. And shut the door and if leave. It... <laughs> that That is the extent of my conversation. <laughs> <laughs> if she's not in there, I don't care. <laughs> well, yeah, because you don't want to talk to her and then get, like, horrible wrong. Right, it's right. Completely, you, knowing you, you completely offend them in the instant. And I don't want to do that. Nope. But yeah, uh... So I guess you're just looking around. Um, as uh, long as I am within ice shot of Anna, I will be going into the next room as well and doing the same thing until one of you two tell me that's probably not a good idea. Well, so you're just going to keep doing that at the end. Look, if anyone wants to, they can roll a perception check or... Or whatever kind of search check. I think it's perception. I would assume would be a search to look around. A search check. Perception. 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 Yeah. Anyone that has perception. How do you know it's if you this, have perception? It's this active skill. You can always type in perception. Uh oh you had percept wait, yeah, perception. He got two dice. Oh, I don't have perception. You do have perception. I looked at oh no. I'm thinking of um Annalie that has perception. You can oh, yeah. roll perception. Yeah. How do you uh, roll so perception? It's in the active state. Yeah, I have I have one uh, dice and perception. Yeah, I don't think you have any nans, I don't think. I don't no. Could. Yeah, so I am definitely going door to door, just asking sure. if random people know Sam. Some, uh, I'm going to go the doors ahead you and... open. Some of them tell. Some of you tell you you need to get the fuck out. Some yep. of them do. Mm -hmm. You know, not all of them are like nice. Some get. Some may like just. You know, just don't give a shit and just don't respond to you. Obviously, yes, I, when I'm... um. Hmm? I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, roll perception to see uh, if I can oh, see yeah. anything while, uh, you know, a little rolled bit. Roll perception too. I'll say that uh, you're having a bit of a better, like, time. You actually notice that the doors have nameplates on them. Kanek. Is Kanek? Kanek? Is that how do you pronounce your name? Do you hear yep. your name, Greg? I already rolled. I got two hits. Yeah, Kanek. You <laughs> noticed, like, you somehow the others didn't notice, but you noticed that, I mean, I don't at least would notice this too. That the doors have nameplates on them, and you guys have just been opening doors to random ones that have like different names that aren't even Samantha's name. It's like, geez, people learn to read. Uh, yeah, you guys didn't read whatsoever. Like, so, obviously, yeah. as you, I assume you poke, um. One of you two poke like um, 
uh, Lilibet. Yeah, yeah. Lilibet on like the shoulder and tell her to stop doing that and just go look name tags <laughs> or something. So yeah, let it now that, now that you've been pointing to it a little bit, you do notice there are name tags on the doors. Oh, there's okay. So there's name tag, but like we don't know if because they're on like lunch break or whatever if they share an office for lunch break. But okay, I will just go These around. These aren't and... actual offices. These are like been turned into like a like into houses. Oh, uh, so the houses have people's names on them then. Yeah, the office building room. Look, okay. you got um. But yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Here you got like a common area. Push that little button open at the same time. Who was that talking? Is that you, Greg? My husband. Oh, so confused. That didn't sound like Greg. And I was like, wait, who's this new boy? But yeah, you guys can just move your tokens around. I'll say that you um that wait where's wait how do I... let me guys just move you here. Let me get So after you search for a while you find this room with the name on it. Oh, okay. Uh, let me just get a NPC image. So yeah, you do see that room. <laughs> that has a name on it. You can't see inside, but you know. Um, can, uh, since this used to be an office building, uh, you know, uh, there could be a uh, camera still, you know, in e each of the rooms, but I access, uh, to try to, you know, see if I can see into the apartment that way by going uh, online to do that. Uh, you do notice areas where there would be cameras, but it looked like they've all been like smashed up. Oh, okay. That, that makes sense. Yeah, this building has like been been used as like an area for like squatting and stuff like that for years. I don't think they would keep the cameras up, or you know the um, security system maintained. Have the sensor array six thousand? Could that give us any information? Uh, you What's know, that inside the room. What does that? Do I'm gonna. Again? I'm going. I'm going to look that up just because I don't uh, remember. Wait, where is your? Wait, what was it called again? The sensor yeah. race is uh, you know, six thousand. Wait, I don't see that in your inventory. Where is that? I I, th I thought that was in my main inventory. It's on my inventory. That's on my phone. So let me uh, check. Uh, So I know you have a jammer. Oh, maybe uh, I made a mistake then. You know, uh, when I put it on my phone, because uh, uh, you know, I uh, I have uh, the jammer listed, and then the sensor array six thousand, and then the stick so and shock that, ammunition. How much does that sensor array cost? Um, let's see. A uh, thousand million. Uh, I think you. I think you might have brought that. I can't. I just. I couldn't. Maybe I just forgot to put it on the sheet myself. Oh, okay. 
Does that sound like something that was being depressed? What availability is it? Oh, what availability is it? Um, yeah. It is. Uh, uh, so I uh, I had uh, the two, uh, the sensor array. So that was availability seven. I can't remember. How much is the um, character creation availability? Depends on where you put your lifestyle at. Is it? What was like one availability across the board? I remember. I, I remember Quinn having had a ton I, of money. I, I, cho I chose the uh, the middle uh, lifestyle. Okay, I'm just going to speed this along and saying you have this. Just tell okay. me what it does exactly, the description. Of okay. It. What page uh, is so, it exactly as well? Uh, so the, uh, for buying it, it's on 446. Uh, and it describes it on 445. You can put sensors in just about anything, and lots of people do. You can, uh, your can of fizzy goo is watching you, and you're reporting back to marketing. You can uh, play the sensor game too. Sensors need to be placed in a housing or case of some sort and built into another device. Sensors can uh, uh, record data themselves uh, or forward it wirelessly in uh, real time or as files to other devices. Sensors are available in seven ratings uh, in two types, single and array. When you uh, your, use your electronic warfare skill in place of your perception skill, you may use the sensor's rating as your limit. Okay, so wait, where's the one? What was the one that you have, Koi, again? Something like... Six, uh, the sensor array. Sensor where 6, is that in the book? Because I'm looking at page 446, and I don't see that. Uh, it's uh, uh, so uh, you can uh, there's sensor array uh, ra rating two through eight is what uh, when I'm uh, oh, sensor array. You just gave uh, it a name, did you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what, okay. Sensor array. Yeah, I think okay. I just put the six thousand there because I bought this you know rating six one. Yeah. You know, okay, so. okay. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh. So was it just like so? It was a sensor array, not not a motion. Wait, because it says sensor array, but then it can um, you can all of the functions you can choose for your sensor to listen to an array of function has the same name as. Yeah, Did you have? I don't think I remember, Do you have to pay for the um sensor? Other things you can do, or um, I. I... I was under the assumption that once you bought the device, that uh, it, uh, it it works. It doesn't need yeah, to be capacity, have a yeah. It has capacity to six. You have to pick like what what functions it had out of the functions. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. I mean, the one that you would have wanted, would have, if you're using it for this, would have been uh, uh, you would have a motion sensor, there, isn't that what it is? Or oh, wait. Yeah, uh, I was thinking like a motion sensor and a look at temperature sense sensor uh, to see if there's any hot spots in the room or something like that. So I will say this, yeah, you mostly it does pick up motion sensing someone is in the room. I will say that. Okay. If you like if you poke up under the door, yeah, it will sense that someone's in the room. I'll give it that. Just make sure when you but next time you um have it set up with six uh, different functions because it has the Oh, okay. Okay. No, that's uh you know, uh yeah, I can I can do that. Uh you know, uh, I let uh you know uh, the other two uh, know that Right. You know what would actually be better for you? I think it would be a handheld. You can get a handheld um, housing for it, and that can hold only up to one to three functions. I think a sensor array is like something big. I'm not sure how big that would actually be. I was thinking that it was like the size of a laptop. Uh, you know a six rating is the size of a motorcycle. You know that, right? It had to be, you know, the housings for it would have to be on a motorcycle or something. 
Oh, really? Oh, okay. I was thinking it was something that could be carried. I'm, uh, I would you know. just say, yeah, I would change that up to like a handheld sensor or whatever. You can change oh, okay. that if you want later on. Then we'll, we'll switch it to a handheld one because we'll I didn't later, realize yeah. that. Yeah, we'll do, okay. we'll, we'll do that stuff later. Well, so, yeah. But I'll say you have a handheld one now. And yeah, it does sense, you know, someone has movement in there. Okay, uh, I whisper to uh, to you guys. Uh, you know, uh, if someone's in the room. Do we want to uh, uh, knock on the door? Sure. Well, I assume you go. You just knock like this. Do we want to knock, or do we just want to barge in and see what they're doing? I mean. Are we here to kidnap, or are we here to escort them back? No, I don't care what we do. I mean, it makes a difference if we're here what to kidnap. We, her. What we were tasked to do, uh, you know, beyond finding her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but fi- beyond finding her. Uh, it said specifically she was a missing person, and you know, I think it's we may have to convince her to come back with us to the yeah, person convincing- that. It depends how you want to do it, because if you try to force it, it's clearly going to be a confrontation. Hmm. You know? Yeah, no. we're, not trying to, we're not trying to be confrontational, so let's knock first. Yeah. Hey. And I'm pretty sure they would rather, you, you know, you don't fucking, like, you know, accidentally nearly kill her. Yeah, I just want you to recover her, and then deal with the uh, to uh, Nick Ryder. Okay. Can we just so face can, You can just say that, you know, if, I mean, you could, like, look, you can try to convince her to come with her. I think you could do that if you, if you play your cards right. Like, you okay. don't play it. Like, obviously, like, it depends how you come in and all that stuff. So, I assume you guys are going to try and knock, or? Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and knock. Mm-hmm. So yeah, she. Uh, you, you hear, you knock on the door. You hear kind of silence for a while. You know, you don't really hear anything for a while. And then you see the door like slightly open. You know, and see a gap, and you see uh, someone looking through the gap. I'll show you what the person looks like. <laughs> This is who you see. Do you all see that? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yes, I do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's the person you see at the door. All right. Um, I'm not a talker, yeah. so I'm gonna let you talk. You people do it. She asked, uh, "What do you What do you want?" Like in like a quiet voice. Um. I, I was coming to check on you. You hadn't shown up, uh, you know, at the uh, drug refinery in, in, you know, in a little bit, you know, uh, and uh, people were concerned. You'll still use this story. Okay, you're going to roll with this story then, okay. Yep, yep, sure am. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me just do something. His players do the darndest things. Yeah. Uh, she goes. She's asked you. Uh, I don't. She says she doesn't recognize you at from the play, and doesn't believe you. Maybe you need to um, tell her about your contact person. Uh, yeah, our contact was uh, Nick Ryder. Uh, he was the li- liaison between the drug refinery uh, and us. Were you know private investigators? She asks, uh, "What are you investigating?" Your your location was unknown. You know, people were concerned. She uh, eyes you guys and says, uh, 
You aren't any of those people from that lab, are you? See, I told you I didn't trust that lab. I will oh, which that. lab? Uh, uh, where are you at? It's like, you don't work specifically it? for a lab. Uh, what was the name? I think it was Judas Industries, I think the lab was called. What was that? She, uh, Judas Industries, I'm pretty sure the lab was called. And th that's the name of uh, the lab that uh, we you downloaded the information the... on, right? Yeah, yeah. You do oh, notice okay. that she does have a lo that logo on her jacket. Oh, okay. Um, and if you do okay. remember correctly, there was someone that looked like they had their stuff rustled through and specifically was missing their jacket, so... Oh, that's true. That's true. Uh, yeah, I... I'll just remind you because it's been a while since we played. It has been since the beginning of November. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I... what, what was your job there? Really? Because answer my question. How do I know you aren't working for them? Um, um, because I have, uh, you know, copies of all the incriminating evidence, you know, against them. Because uh, I cannot lie. Shut up, man. <laughs> 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 yeah, if only that worked for everyone, going up to people and going, how do I know you're not telling the charter, you're not tell you're telling a lie? Because, oh, I can never lie. I can't lie. I can hope to die. <laughs> If only that worked on everyone. Well, well, you never know. If you want to try and make a persuasion check, um, I have no persuasions. I'm not talking about you. I know. You oh, okay. Know. I'm talking to um, Annalise. Uh, yes, I will uh, go ahead and uh, uh, would it be negotiation since there's not a persuasion. Uh, is that persuasion? I thought persuasion was a skill. There is not. Persuasion. It's an active yeah, skill. Be... What would we, like? What, is there a skill for telling the truth uh, or like persuading someone? Is it? Would it be negotiation? Yeah, it, I think it would be negotiation. That's what I would be going with. Yeah, that's the closest thing that I've seen. So I, I will go ahead and do that. Okay. So how does? Yeah, roll negotiation. Okay. So what would be like a skill I roll in, in like against yours? Would it be negotiation? Perception. Well? Kind of. Perception, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, roll perception. You would, you would counter roll negotiations. Would we? I don't know. I don't know the DM. I didn't read that. Oh, it's been a while since we played. Okay. Yeah, I would counter roll. That sounds right. Hi, Bailey. You cutie pie. Okay, I'm gonna have her roll negotiations as well. Oh, she rolled uh, you know, better than I did. But they, they got two crit fails. It doesn't matter. They got more hits. Yeah, I'd have to like get... She would have to have gotten half to be... I told you, I cannot lie. This is the best way of doing this. <laughs> Do you have a way to read data in your uh, you know, apartment? No. As you as, okay. as you can guys see as you poke through the door, you can see like it's just pretty bare in there. Do you have a calm link? Uh, let me check if she has a calm link real quick. Uh, let me open up her inventory. Everybody has some kind of calm link. You sure she has one though? I, like I mean. Assuming... I Unless she's hopeless and also has no friends. Assumptions make an ass out of you. What is it? What is it? How that goes? Assuming, Assuming makes an ass out of you and me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Uh, where the fuck's her gear? Does she even have it? Here it is. Yeah, uh, she doesn't have any. She specifically oh, says okay. that she doesn't have any. 
Uh, I fold out, uh, out uh, you know, I have two copies. I've made two copies of the data that I copied and, you know, because we had to give it to the one place, but I kept copies for myself. I hold up the da uh, data card and I'm like, uh, you know, I, I have actual copies of this. If you don't believe us, you know, we can go to, you know, a, a, you know, a, computer cafe or something like that so that you can uh, see what what we have when you say computer cafe she kind of stares at you and go in like a way that goes like what the hell is a computer cafe <laughs> i was thinking that it would be a thing still <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know where, you know, somewhere public that you can go, uh, go and, uh, you know, uh, access the, the web and stuff. Since I don't actually have a, you know, uh, an, a, a physical box that I use. You can, you know, you can ask her other questions too. You don't have to do so, it anyway. Can I ask her a question? Why are you here? Baby. That was my Baby. daughter, sorry. Oh, okay. I wonder why that sounds like a younger Nance. Because <laughs> it is a younger Nance. Yeah. Wait, what did you ask her again? You asked her... Uh... Why is she here? The baby. She says, uh, well, it's where I, I've been living for a couple of days. Um, but, like, why here? Why... What are you hiding from, I guess, is the words. I don't remember anything before mm. uh, much else. I only remember, I don't only remember a couple of weeks ago. I don't remember much else from that. Oh. You can say I don't know what I'm running from. Okay. So, okay, okay. So she's running from the unknown. I think you're taking this a bit too metaphorically speaking, man. No. <laughs> she, she doesn't remember anything, so she's running from something she doesn't know okay, she's okay, afraid okay. of. <laughs> okay, okay. I was, I was confused because I wasn't sure if you were taking this metaphorically speaking or like how mm. I was phrasing it. Okay, you could. No. It. Yeah, no. She doesn't know what she's running from, so she doesn't know what to be afraid of. And right now, she's paranoid and afraid of everything. So, I'm going to just sit down in front of the door and hold out my hand. Um, I, I'm going to hold up the finger for one moment uh, while you're talking uh, to her. And I'm going to uh, scan the data chip to see if her name is, um, you know, mentioned anywhere in the paperwork that I have copied. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you ever get a last name for her? Did you only get the first name? I think you only got the first name. True. Yeah, I would be searching for, you know, a random Samantha. You know, it doesn't just say Samantha on what her door. What do you mean, like, door. searching? How are you searching? I... I'm searching through the data card that I copied the information to. And I'm, uh, you know, uh, I'm, uh, I can connect. Oh, that's right. uh, you kept a, a, a copy of that, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yes, they did. Mm -hmm. Now that I think about it, that should have log, like research logs on it. Mm -hmm. Like I'll say this the module doesn't say anything about research logs, but that thing should have research logs if it's the entire data of like the place. Like, you should be able to, I will say this, if you do look into it, you should be able to find stuff about them, you know, exper things about them experimenting on someone. Okay. I, and it, the, I'm pretty certain that she's the one that they were, in, uh, you know, experimenting on. It does, if you do read it, it does tell you. I would, you would, if eventually, if you read enough of it, you would find that, you know, so there would be a log saying that they, like from like like twenty years ago or something, saying or however long ago it was, about like them, um, you know, kidnapping someone. 
you know. Okay. And uh, you know, does it say what her name was then? For kidnapping, or was it always Samantha, or did they change her name when she uh, she was kidnapped? Uh, it was always Samantha. You do oh, remember okay. that there was like two other clones in there, or clones of her though as well in the building. Oh, that's right. Uh, so we do recognize her from you know the clones that we saw that were yeah, you know, yeah, in yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah, we probably oh, shouldn't okay. say that out loud, though. So, <laughs> um, I'm but yeah, said, I would think you would have been reading them the whole time. You would have been going, like you know, to this place. I thought I would assume. So I kind of forgot. It's been a while. So I kind of forgot you had you kept a copy of it. So mm -hmm. yeah, if you like searched enough, you, you would have found like more information. Yeah. Okay. You wouldn't know as well. I... They were like I said. I think I remember telling you when you found it. They were experimenting on trying to build like a hive, like a kind of like a hive mind kind of thing. Or well, not really a hive mind, but you know, like of like uh, specifically technomancers. Okay. So they were doing. Uh, they were trying to create technomancers from from scratch, basically. Uh, I'm not sure if that exactly, but they were definitely trying to make like you know all brain like multiple brains connected into like one like thing. Oh, okay. Like, to be like you know like a powerful like technomancer kind of thing. Okay, yeah. I, I'm going to uh I'm going to walk back over and like uh Sam uh we need to talk more, but can we do it inside your apartment? So no one hears. He still eyes you, not sure where to trust you. Uh, can you roll a uh, negotiation, another good negotiation roll with that for that? Okay. I am still sitting on the floor, waiting to take her hand. I'll uh, actually re-roll that. And, you know. I don't know. Like since you have the thing, I would say this. You must. I uh, I forgot. I should have said you could have got a plus one or an extra die or something. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, matter. okay. Doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Uh, I'll just roll. She uh, rolls good. Yeah. <laughs> she rolled one. Uh, one. Look, I'll say because you know. Mm -hmm. She won't let you inside. You know. But she's still okay. will, will, still willing to talk to you. Okay, that's that's fair. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, you know. So the person that sent us to come, fi uh, you know, find you, uh, is not connected with the lab. Uh, you know, he's been, uh, you know, obsessed with uh, the missing persons case from twenty years ago. Uh, you know, where you were kidnapped. Uh, for uh, for a long time, so I don't think that there's any problem with problems that you're going to come from on that. But Lone Star is a corporation in itself, and I don't know if you want uh, to uh, you know be involved uh, with uh, you know having a, uh, the police you know uh, be connected to uh, you or not. I will say this: you do, guys, know that once you retrieve it, you meant to go back to that piece of joint, and he'll be waiting for you there. So it would be like, you know, it won't be like, like you know, taking her into the station or whatever. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Go out for some pizza. <laughs> this time, also, <laughs> this time, since you said that, I'll give you a, if you want to re-roll negotiation, but with like a, a, a two, extra two dice modifier, you know, where it says modifier, put a two in there and then roll. See here. Uh, you click, uh, you, you, oh, oh, in uh, in modifier. Yeah. You is put two. two. Okay. And then you just roll it. Have her roll her negotiation. Okay, she rolled a zero. So she opens the door. As she, she opened the door, you do notice that she had a uh, an Ares Predator 5, I think it is, in her hand, and pressed up against the door, but she puts it down. 
And what you see, obviously, you know, her wearing like the armor jacket and um, scrubs and pants that look like, you know, medical scrubs. Okay. She has uh, no shoes on, I think. I think that's all she, I think. Yeah, she doesn't have any shoes on, I think. I can't remember if she does. Let me check. Because I'm pretty sure she has hardly anything that she's wearing. I know she has shoes in the photo. I wasn't sure. I thought, like, why would they give it? I guess she stole some shoes, I guess, at some point. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, in her art, she has shoes. Okay. You but, must yeah, have uh, close shoes and, you know, working with uh, drugs and stuff. You know, that's yeah, ocean. But, like, <laughs> I'm, what I'm trying to say, she escaped from that lab, okay? Stole that jacket. And it, I thought, why would they give her shoes? <laughs> if she's in, I don't know. <laughs> if she was in like a test kind of, if it was in like one of those or whatever it was. Anyway, whatever. Uh, yeah, she opens the door and she um, puts the gun down and she goes, she goes, uh, if you're telling the truth, then I would be willing to come with you guys. Okay. Yeah, we'd be ap appreciated. We're not going to the station. We're meeting at a pizza joint. And you're not going to be alone. Uh, we'll be there with you so that, uh, you know, uh, if there looks to be anything uh, negative that's going to happen, then uh, we can get you out. Okay, so you got, uh, she will come with you. So I guess you guys are going to go back to the pizza joint now. Yeah. Yes. So how many times do you come to go to that place? I've got to make a map for it one of these days. <laughs> Let me just preload the uh, Chicago map. So you should all get moved to the Chicago map soon. Yep. So yeah, the um, piece of place is somewhere up north here on the map. It's not on the map. I have a different map for it, but I'm going to bother loading that. Because it's, okay. just, it's just a map. So yeah, she hops in the car with you, and I guess you guys are just going to drive there. And then I'll open up the thing for it. Okay. So obviously it's what you remember it looking like, you know, with the barbed wire and like the, um, you know, on the roof and the uh, fence and like the, uh, what's it called, barred at like windows and stuff. Are we back at the pizza place now? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, maybe we should leave her here and go inside and check and see what's going on. This way. Uh... Oh, that's okay. I was looking at my notes, comparing them with something. Okay. Uh, wait. So yeah, uh, so you, you leave. Who's gonna stay outside with her then? If you're leaving her I will. outside, okay. Who's gonna go inside? Uh it's not my contact, so I'll stay like just outside. Oh, this the is door. no one's contact. This is no one's contact. This is the person, and and you know, I use my contact at the police station to find out about uh, the guy that we're meeting. So this is a different guy. Okay. I'll go ahead and go inside, you know, uh, with her. So you're not going to bring um, Samantha in with you? No, I think she should stay outside. If she sees barred windows and things like that, don't you think she'd freak out a little bit? Maybe, yeah. So yeah, who's going inside then? Uh, I'll and... go inside to uh, you know, uh, tell him that we found Samantha and that uh, you know, he can meet with her outside. Okay, uh, so you walk in um, into the um, building and then uh, you, I assume you, you know, ask for the guy. Yeah, uh, always... is there a Nick Raider? Ryder. Ryder, I'm sorry, I, yeah, I got so, that wrong. <laughs> yeah, I say that to the hostess. She um, takes you to the table near the window. Uh, so yeah, at the first, um, you know, you sit down, there's no... He isn't here yet. You take down in your order. 
Oh, I assume you guys are like the ones outside are like hiding somewhere. Yeah, probably. I yeah, don't know, like a... hiding, hiding, but yeah. So as you um, you guys are obviously I guess like out of the way. The people outside would see a man in a trench coat walk at a fedora, <laughs> walk into the building, and then obviously you see him walk towards the um table and he grabs a chair from another table and sits down with you. Uh, what was it, Loris? No, not Larissa. Um. Annalise, yeah. So he sits down, um, and he sits, yeah, as, yeah, so, um, orders are brought out, and he gets, uh, he's given a, um, bourbon from the server. Um, so, uh, and Alex, why? As the server leaves, oh, as the server leaves, he does, um, the new guy with the, with the five o'clock shadow flashes his lowest star and bashes you. You know. What were you gonna say, Larissa? I just you wanna say something, Wayne? Larissa. I was gonna here. say uh, Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, Larissa's not here. That's in Tuesday's game. Oh sorry, sorry. Wait. God damn <laughs> I'm, it, I can't I'm I'm little bit... why I was saying why I was saying Larissa today. I'm going, who the hell is Larissa? But I keep just I meant Annalise. Jesus. Okay. Uh yeah. Uh, so I, I'm going to uh, say, uh, you know, uh, uh, I'm I'm here because we were able to find her. He goes. Uh, he obviously, you know, he's flashed his badge at you. He says, uh, he goes. He nods at you and goes, uh, "I'm Detective Nick Ryder." And uh, he goes, "Yeah." So you found Samantha Carroll. He yes. Says. He goes, uh, he asks, uh, where is she? She's outside. She didn't feel comfortable coming in, uh, inside. As uh, she's, uh, you know, uh, she's not sure what she's on the run from, but she's on the run. So she you know, wants to be able to have a way out if, uh, if that's needed. He asks, do you want me to go outside to meet her or? Yes. If you could go outside and meet her and I will join you. So he goes outside and uh, with the after he finishes drinking his bourbon, and uh, he goes outside and uh, I show, do you show him where where she is? Or... Yep, I show uh, where they're standing outside. How the uh, other you guys inside. react? Oh, oh yeah, I'll show you the image of what he looks like because you know now you all see him. That's what he looks like. Where? Uh, it should have popped up on your screen. The image. No, it, there it is. Okay. Oh. Okay. Um. Oh, it didn't. It didn't pop up for me. Didn't it? No, it didn't for me. Uh, uh, it uh, Foundry's acting, uh, you know, uh, funky for me tonight. It keeps on uh, knocking me out, and then I have to get back oh. in again. Are you still in? Oh no, you're knocked out. Do you yeah. see it now? Or do you want me to show it to you again? Uh, let me get back in and then you can uh, show it again. Yeah, I'll tell you when, when you get back in, I'll, you just tell me and I'll press it. Okay. I would say though, um, I want to be in front of Sam when we go to oh, yeah. show her to him. Um, if she needs a place to run, she'll have it. And if he does anything sketchy, I'll be in front. Okay. Okay, I'm back in. If you want to flash the picture again. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah, I'll show you that now. That's what he looks like. Do you see it? Oh, okay. Yeah, he yeah, he definitely uh, you know uh, has a you know a very haggard look to him. 
disheveled. Would you say a disheveled look? Yeah, disheveled, I would say, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, how was it? Uh... So, yeah, obviously, you know, he um, plays a... He thanks you guys for finding her. And uh, he says, well, it's now that you've um, held up your end, I have, thank you for earned a little bit of truth in addition to your payment. And he says, well, Samantha needs to know where she came from. So yeah, he pulls out a um, wrinkled and yellow folder labeled Carol Samantha and bearing an old Lone Star case number. And he goes to say, I don't like cold cases, and there are a lot of them in Chicago. Cases are cold as the wind off the lake. One such case involves the kidnapping of a six-year-old girl in broad daylight on October 6, 2053. This was my first case and my first week as a detective in Chicago. The young girl, Samantha Carroll, was taken right off the street in front of her school. With each page he turns in the folder, he takes another sip. Oh, he's already drank that. Don't worry. Uh, but yeah, he, has, he just flips the pages. He then goes and adds, uh, there was no witnesses and the girl was never found. The family left Chicago's when the bug hit, bugs hit in 55. And I like to think they found a way to move on with their life. Um, they say you shouldn't get so attached to, pe to the people in your cases. They say you just clear them and close them, they say. They also say what happens your first week won't haunt you for the rest of your career. I say they're wrong. Is, <laughs> is he reading point, that yeah. aloud? Hmm? Is he reading he's that aloud? He's showing it to you, yeah, yeah. Okay, he's showing it to us. He's not reading it. Yeah, the okay. file, the file. He's saying this to you, and he's showing it to you. Oh, so like, he, she's he hearing it too, then, right? Yeah, yeah, she's hearing it. If, he, if you want to look at the, the file, he'll give it to you to have a look at it. If you want to well, I don't want to look. I, I do want to look at the file, but more so I want to check how she's feeling about it, because now she's being told information about who she is, who she was. Oh, yeah? Uh, she's yeah. kind of silent, but you can clearly see that, you know, she's getting emotional and listening. Okay, I am you know. going to comfort her best I can. He says, like, you know, obviously he was going on, like, on his monologue about saying, you know, people say, hey, you should just clear them and close cases and don't get attached to the people in them. He says uh, they're wrong and, you know, and at this point, clearing one more case won't get set in my career, right? But if that one more case is finding a kidnapped little girl, it's worth doing whatever needs to be done. And then he, you know, obviously, uh, if he, did you take the um, folder at all or no? I, I did. I did, yeah. Yeah, obviously let you look for it, through it, if you guys um, want to look at it. And it does corroborate what he said. You can see, like, a photo of the girl in there. And Elise, do we want to tell him the rest of the information we know as I whisper to her? I think it is up to Samantha whether or not she wants it, because I'm going to make sure that she has copy of the information of where she's been for all this time. Um, but it's up to her whether or not she wants to share, you know, that information uh, with uh, Nick. Cool. He does say, uh, you know, if you may, if you can take, you know, Sam now. Um, that's up to her, and how comfortable how comfortable she is in this situation. I don't know that he she would want to go with him, but I can't speak to her character. I mean, she he does want to go with him because it's better than what whatever she was, you know, before, you know. I mean, she could go with us too. Okay, give me one reason why she want to go with you. Um. <laughs> Because we're awesome. We found her. We're her so, first point of contact of so trust. Your your redeeming oh. qualities are you're awesome and <laughs> what else? Um, because she could stay we have a hideout, right? <laughs> no, we have a hideout, no, right? Aren't a lot of you guys like fucking paupers, except for like um Zendo's character and um Greg's. Right, but we we have a hideout, right? Do you, though? Sort of. I thought you guys only had your house. Otherwise... I don't have a house. I live on the street. Yeah, you uh, 
You live on the street. Sando and I are kind of sharing. Yeah, aren't you guys roommates? Yeah. I don't and, think Zendo would want to share his house with extra. And places. I got a couple of friends that I can crash on their place for a little bit. She decides she does want to say she uh, she does want to go with Nick. Well, that's fine. She, but he, like, I wanted her to have options. She didn't have to go with the the police officer who didn't find her. I mean, <laughs> look, I'm going to say this. He could have completely ignored this case and never like put out any like. You know, uh-huh. feelers out. You know. Uh huh. Yeah, he did. He could have. He did the right thing by hiring us to go find her. Well, what I'm this. The guy that hired you did not give a shit about this. You're only doing this for a favor. The guy that hired you, you know, the um, other dude that was doing a favor for Nick. He did not care if she got found. Only got cared if she got found. If you know, if it led to him getting a favor. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. So he's sketchy, not the cop. Got it. Okay. Yeah, that's what. I, yeah. I mean, you would have got the sketchiness. I should have, because it's been a while since you know you've that scene happened. So yeah, he was sketchy. pretty sketchy, the guy that you were talking to. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, but like, he, do um, I get the sense that this guy's the cop is trustworthy? Like, he's not going to go send her back there to that place. There's a you get the sense that him. um that. You know, he's thought about this case ever since, you know, his because it was his first case. He's thought about it ever since, you know, you know, about it being a cold case for years and wanting to solve it. Mm-hmm, as mm-hmm. in that kind of kind of case. Like he's emotionally attached to, to this case. You know what I mean? Okay, I got that part. But like he wants to do right by her now. That's what I'm worried about. What do you like, mean? I, like, I'm uh, not getting a sense of like he's being bought off by anybody, right? No, 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 no. Okay, okay. If you watch him as you know, as he takes her with him, you do notice that he has a um hot ambulance standing by a block away, you know, and for Sam if she needs any medical attention. Okay, okay. Does he say if if there's any family that uh you know is still around uh waiting for her? No, they left Chicago. When the oh, they left Chicago. Said, I missed yeah. that detail. I'm sorry. It's okay. I think you were reloading. He does tell you that he will try to track them down. Okay. The family down. He does say that to you. But that, that might be difficult. You know, because they could have gone anywhere. But yeah. So yeah, uh, he does leave you with your payment, which I think is what was it, four thousand um, each. Mm-hmm. I'll give that to Zendo too because he would have been here for that this mission if he wasn't, you know. So yeah, everyone had four thousand to your uh, monies. Okay. And then I um, think, it, yeah. are we able to get his contact information so that if he needs any yeah, yeah. information about where she was and stuff, we can you know contact them and yeah, stuff. Yeah, he'll. If you want, you can add him as a contact in your uh, contact. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll I'll let Annalise do that because I wouldn't have that contact. Just put his name in, and then I'll fill out the rest for it because he does have okay. like a whole, you know, connection thing and stuff like that. I'll put in later. I think. Do you guys all have? Um, I can't remember if you somebody who took the um, what's her name? Something princess. Um, you know the other employee you had. Forget who they took her. I think that might have been Zendo who took her as a contact. Yeah, Zendo did. He took the other two. Don't worry. Yeah. He has Quantum Printers and the Andrews guy. The lizard, the lizard Andrews guy. I can't yes. remember. Did, were you here? I can't remember. She was, was, was um, Aaron's character here for like the whole the, scene, the lizard guy? I think she was. She saw him. Yeah. Anyway, so I guess now like you guys, yeah. you know, get paid. What was it? Remember, it's 4,000 each. So just add that to your character. And then you should get some karma now, because we we finished this event, this one, which is Ooh, you know we got four thousand. Does that mean maybe I can get a hotel room for the night? I don't know. Or Do get an apartment. Check what like the you have to look at the um you know. Yeah, I'll have to see. Yeah, the Ooh, lifestyle. I'm I'm gonna look up and see how much it'll be to actually build a bunker for us, a base, a hideaway. Oh, that's going to be super expensive. 
Well, I don't have an apart apartment for the next four months that if people want you know uh, to uh, you know fill out there. Well, you mean crash? Well, yeah, mean I crash. can crash at your place. <gasps> yeah, that would be awesome. It'd be like a sleepover. Okay, let's see what. What's the uh, so everyone's added the money to their character sheet then? I assume. Mm -hmm. I have not added mine, but I will. Okay. I, I have wait for the end of the session. I have a cat laying on me. Wait for the end of the session for what? I'll wait till the end of the session to put it on the character sheet. I think this is the end of the session now because we just wrapped up and it is three o'clock and that's when we normally like to stop. Remember. Um, so let's. I'm gonna just do it with uh, that and then look at what, figure out what karma I have to give you. Okay. I thought we were going till one o'clock. It's three o'clock right now over here. I thought we go for three or four hours. Yeah, but I don't have any more content for you guys. Oh, okay, that works too. <laughs> uh, this was like the this was like the stopping part until the next like you know. Yeah. Um, uh, part okay, I run. Cool. So yeah. Uh... So then, then I'll look up on how much it would be to start getting, putting money away for um, a hideaway place for us. Uh, did we get karma from the last mission? No, no, you get this promotable thing. Okay. Um, if somebody types it in the chat, Zendo will see it. See what? How much money we're getting and how much karma we're getting. I already gave him the, I already gave him the money. Alright, what about the karma? I'll, just, I'll put the karma in chat. I'll say you guys get, uh... 14 karma. Because you did do three missions. And you did complete all their objectives. Woohoo! So let me just put this in chat. Where do you add karma on the character sheet? Uh, it's in, in miscellaneous. miscellaneous. Oh, in miscellaneous. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, is there a difference between uh, karma and career karma? Uh, let me check. But that, we are at the end of the session now, right? Uh, yeah. Career Karma, Karma is just your your current 